we've got it. it. Splits into four parts. This one is the script window where you're going to write all your commands. This is the console. This is where you actually type commands when you just want to run them, but we'll be using the script so we can save them for later. On this side, you've got things like your plots, your help, your packages and files will appear, and we'll talk about that later. And up here, you've got your workspace and your history, if that becomes useful. Okay, so now we've got our studio opened. The next thing we'll do is we will look at entering some data. So if we go back and have a look at the practical. So here's the practical. I have to open the side so I can see it. So we've opened our studio, we're going to enter some data into R. So there's the picture I've just described. The data we're going to want to enter, if we go right down to the bottom, is this data here. This is average weekly household spending in British pounds on our co beverage for each of 11 regions in Great Britain. So for each of these regions, we have what the region's called, where it's located, and how much they're spending on alcohol. So we're going to enter that into R. Now I'm just going to put this up in a floating window so we can keep it there to keep an eye on it while we're doing this. All right, back to our studio. Okay, so the first one here we've got region, and as you can see, each of these is a region north, Yorkshire, northeast, etc. So this is a categorical variable that we want to record in R. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to go file new R script. So this gives us a new thing called untitled. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter our commands into our script and save them. We could enter our commands directly into the console and run them, but the problem is then we don't have a history of them. If we write them in here, we can save it, and next time we want to run these commands, you've already got them saved. So we're going to start by creating a vector of all the regions. So we'll call it region. So that's the name of our vector. And then we have to assign it. And the assign command is less than minus. So a little left pointed arrow. And then we're going to create a vector. And the way you create vectors is to use what we call the concatenate function. The shortcut for this is C. And then we enter the bits in bit by bit. So the first one we'll put in quotations is north. Next one is Yorkshire. And we'll continue entering all of them. Okay, so all entered now. So how can I actually enter this command into R? Well, if we just put the cursor anywhere on this line, and you can see it's just wrapped round, then you have code, run lines. What did that do? Well. If you look down here in console, it's basically copied and pasted that command directly in there. And also, if we look up at workspace, now we've got a thing called region, character 11. Click on that. It shows you the things you just entered. And also to check that this is actually in here in the console, we'll go down to the console and we'll just go region and hit return. And there you can see we've got a vector size 11 for each of the regions. Okay, so. Next, we now have to add location. So, location, assign, C. Now, the first one, we've got north here. So, instead of typing north five times, I'm going to use the rep function. If I come down to the console, I'll show you what that does. If I go rep, and I put something in like A, and then go five, that repeats it five times. So, we can use that. We can go C, rep. North, one, two, three, four, five. Then we've got south, so I repeat south, and we've got one, two, three, four. Finally, we've got a north on its own, and we've got a south on its own. Oh, I need it in quotation. And again, now I can run that by going code, run lines. Now we can see we've got location and region in the space. And if I type location, you can see we've got all the things, and we just check that's the data we want. It's good. 
And now finally, we'll do the same. Alcohol, unlike location and region, which are categorical variables, alcohol is a numerical vector, but we can enter it pretty much the same. We'll go in and we will go alcohol, assign, we we'll use C again. But now because it's got numbers, instead of putting them in the quotation marks, we just type the numbers. So we've got 6.07, 6.13, 6.14, 6.15, 6.13, and so on. Now they're entered, and we can go code, run lines. But instead, I want to show you as well, we also have this run button here that I can hit. And that again is taken that and paste it down there. There's also shortcut keys. If you ever want to know the shortcut keys, if you go into your system and look at help, keyboard shortcuts, you can see that it has all the shortcut keys. So if we go down to what we call source, and there should be run current line selection. So you can either hit control, enter if you're on Windows, or if you're on a Mac, you go command and enter. So I'm on a Mac, so if I want to run that again, I just go command, enter. And you can see it pop down here and it's run it. And again, if we look, alcohol, there's the numbers. So now we've got the three things, but I want to put them all together in what we call a data frame. So that's one big table with all the stuff together. So I will call it data say. Actually, let's see what I called it in the prac. Alcohol data. So I'll call it alcohol data. Assign data.frame, which is what R calls this thing. And then we put them all together. So we've got region, location, and alcohol. Like that. And then we run that. So now we've got a new thing called data, called alcohol.data. If I click on that, you can see we've produced this. Don't have to do it that way. In other words, we could look at it. One, we could go in here and we could just type alcohol. Well, here's a trick for you. If I start typing alcohol data and hit the tab key, it comes up with the choices of things we have. We've got alcohol data. I move, use the arrow keys to select it and then hit return. And that puts it in for me. Now hit return again. And you see your data frames. You've got this matrix with each of the different variables, the region, location, and alcohol. If I just wanted to look at the first few, because in big data sets it's a take of everything, you can use the head function. So head. Okay, so to do that, we're going to use an R function. So an R function is we put in the head, open the brackets, and then we're going to give it the alcohol data, and then we hit return. And this just gives you the first six rows. Okay, so now we've got our data in there. Now might be a good idea to save this because we want to save this for next time. So you see it's a red here and title two, it's not been saved. So you just click file, save, brings up the dialog box. I'm going to put it on the desktop and we'll call it alcohol.r. So .r means it's a script file. Save that. And you can see in my files, this is looking at the desktop, we've got alcohol.r. The commands are there. So if I'd finished the prac and I closed off my R Studio, next time I open it up, it will automatically open that for me. If I'd closed it all like that, I can basically go to my desktop, find it, click on it, and it will open it. But notice there's nothing in the workspace yet because it's all fresh. So to run this, I can run each line one at a time, or if you want to run the whole lot in one go, you can click the source button. That quickly sourced it all, they've all appeared here, and you can see now the workspace is there for next time. Okay, so that's fine if you want to enter it by hand, but normally I will give you either Excel spreadsheets or comma separated val value spreadsheets or CSVs. So I'll show you now how to actually download um, spreadsheets from Excel and get them into R.